Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our live. I'm Heather and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And it's a way to talk about Luminous, learn about Luminous, see Luminous, do it all. Um, and you can ask your questions. So we are going to be doing something a little bit different today um, because I know this question comes up a lot, especially for new users um, and or maybe even for people that have been doing it a while and they're like, ah, I'm just not sure yet. Hey, Martin, good to see you. And so I want to go over how to color match once you get your system. And so we're going to go through some of that. Um, and really concentrate on the color match and how to use it, how to start out using it, things like that. Hey, Veronica, I've been doing good. Hey, Debbie, good to see you. Now, of course, my eyes were doing so much better than now all of a sudden they're itchy. Um, so we are, let's go over the basics. We always like to go over the basics. Um, and so let me get that um, down for you. Here is one of our system. This is the icon. We also have the icon pro and the legend um and then we also have the breeze which is our new cordless chargeable one amazing um and then any system you purchase it does come with makeup now depending on when you received it what offers were going on um you may have received more than this but all the systems will come with the two bottles of foundation love and blush our blush is super high pigmented meaning it is going to bloom a little on you. And then the love is a, it's a, it's a use here. It's going to give your skin that luminosity. Um, it might not be something you use every single day, but you're going to love it. You can mix it in with your blush. I even in the summer, I even mix it in with my foundation. Now, right here is what you're going to want to do when starting out airbrushing. So make sure you hold that stylus four finger widths away and you'll want to watch yourself in the mirror, making sure every so often that you are that four finger widths away. Then always keep that stylus moving. It's not this and it's not this. You're going to keep moving. There's overlap, but you're never in one spot twice. Hey, Zandra, good morning. And then the one thing you will want to practice is that barely pulling back on that trigger. You're wanting very little makeup to come out at once. So this is where, wow, I'm like, everybody, wah! Um, well, thank you, Martin. I miss y'all too. Hello, Stephanie. Good morning, Marilyn. See, Roxy says, Roxy, for some reason, I love your name, Roxy Conefields. Sounds like you should be a, um, like a reporter. Roxy Cone Fields reporting with da 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 da. I don't know. That's just what I got. <laughs> I've had my breeze for about four weeks. It's not spraying unless it's pulled all the way back. Uh, like when I clean it, I clean it after you ever use. What should I do? Love the question. So, um, because this live is going to be a little bit different, where normally I go and do my whole entire face, we are going to concentrate on just color matching and application. But Roxy, what I want you to do is if you are cleaning it after every single use, clean it again with some warm water. But when you get down to the very end, when the water's almost pushed out, back bubble it. Back bubble, back bubble, back bubble. Let the water sit in there for a little bit too, and then back bubble that bad boy. And back bubbling means to turn it on uh put your finger there or tissue block the air and then lightly pull back on that trigger uh, and it will back bubble this needle is protected so there's no way of taking out the needle but i find that if it gets if makeup gets stuck in there that might help hurt the spray so try that a few times and it might go everywhere so i end up and i'll show you at the end after um we color match um, I usually take a tissue, like a tissue or a paper towel, and I hold it over that and do it because it does, bloop, 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 and just so it doesn't get everywhere, that's what I do. Um, and I'll show you that as soon as we're at the end. All right, so we are going to go over color matching. Now, I don't know how many times you've heard me say that airbrushing is different than traditional makeup not just because of the application system, 
but how you put it on, how you're expecting it to show up is different. Okay. So what a lot of people do is they get the system and then they end up putting it on like traditional makeup, meaning that first spray, they're spraying it because they want to see it. I want to see it go on. I want to, it's going to be amazing. I want to see it. And that's not how you want it. You're spraying so light that I want you to question whether or not it's even going on. Okay. So if you see opaqueness, if you see if it, it's wet, those are signs that you're spraying too hard. Now, one way of checking that is put a few drops of your foundation, take a paper towel, hold it the four finger widths away, start your movement and spray on a paper towel. If you see the makeup show up instantly, spraying too hard. Okay. You want to show up gradually. All right. Um, let's see, Cindy says, I take the stylus top of the breeze. They're only in the bottom part. doesn't get wet and damaged. Oh, okay. You take the top off. Um, yeah. Um, I don't, I just put, I like, I don't know. I just go and like go under the sink. Uh, but you can use a dropper, um, because I'm obviously not where there's a sink. I do use my tip top cleaner where I can just pour it in there. So if you have an empty one of these, you could also put the water in there as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when you get your system, you get two shades. They're similar in color. They're not the same. Similar in color, not the same. Okay. So when you're picking out, um, if you're first starting out, you're like, okay, I don't know which ones to pick. You're picking out a range. So are you fair, medium, tan, warm, deep, dark? You know, so there. Okay. So pick out a range. Now we do have a hundred percent color match guarantee. So if you do get the wrong, let's say you got the fair and you're a tan, which probably wouldn't happen, but we would give you the right shades. Okay. We'll make it right with you. So, yay. So I'm going to take two colors that may have come together. Well, let me see if I have the four. Hold on. Yeah, here's the four. So this is the medium kit which is shades three and four, 030 and 040. And this is the rose foundation. And there's going to be different ways that you can color match. Now, I could take these, hold them up to my skin and see which one I like better. See which one is the closest to my skin and go with that one first. Okay. Or, shake them up you always want to shake them up because this is what happens um see that separation right there our makeup is water and mineral base and so it is going to separate and so you do want to make sure you shake them up so that pigment gets mixed in okay Oh, I love it. I know getting ready is, this is going to cut your getting ready time in half. All right. So I can say, well, oh, I'm kind of in between. I don't, I like this one better than this one. So another way you can do it is shake them up, put a drop on your finger and put that, I'm going to do it heavy so you can see it. Put that on your cheek. Now I'm going to take the other one. Drop on my finger. Oops, that one dripped. I love I'm using the rose and I love the smell. Okay. Can y'all see it? Hold on, let me move my hair. Don't look at my grades. I need to get my hair done. Can y'all see the difference? Yes, no, maybe. Does it look I mean, it looks pretty good. Is it a perfect match? I don't know, but I show you this. So which one would you do the one closest to my nose or closest? I do the opposite. Closest to my nose or closest to my ear? Which one would y'all pick? Closest to the ear, closest to the nose. Stephanie says nose. 
Stephanie? Zondra says closest to your ear. Closest to the nose. So even with that, we're a little bit split, okay? Now, if I held these up and did it this way, which one would you pick? Closest to my ear or closest to my nose? Closest to my ear? In the bottles, closest to my nose or closest to my ear? Jeannie says nose. Cindy says ear. <laughs> ear. So again, there's going to be, Marilyn says mix. So there's going to be, there. you know, one one's going to look better for everybody, okay? Now, if I went by the bottle, I probably would, I don't know, let me see. I probably would have done the ear, the one closest to my ear, but here I would have done closest to my nose, right? But they're different colors. If I did this, I picked the four. If I did that, I picked the three. And I'm telling you that because there's a lot of wiggle room when doing the foundation, okay? Now, some of you, yes, you may look at this and go, that one's gonna be too light, that one's gonna be too dark, so mix them. If you want to mix them, what I recommend is start half and half, like three drops of one, three drops of the other, mix that together, start half and half, and then you can gauge if you need to go lighter or darker. Make sense? So now I want to show you, actually, I'm going to leave that on. So I'm going to shake this one up and I'm going to airbrush it on. But guys, also remember that what I'm doing and how I'm doing this is how you would do, how you would color match for traditional makeup. Airbrush makeup doesn't go on like that. We're not covering every inch of the face. This is showing you all the pigment right in there. So you have to, you know, think about that when doing it, okay? Oop, that's way too much. I will, Jeannie, I thought about that the other day. Okay, so I could do this. So I want to see it airbrushed on, but is that how we airbrush? No. I'm going to empty this one out. And then now I'm going to do the other one. Why am I putting so much in here? I don't know. Okay. Now I will tell you, even though I did not airbrush the correct way <laughs> because I was still all together right there, right there. And it's, it's like, if I put my finger in it, you would see my fingerprint like it's wet. Okay. See, so that's not how you airbrush. However, I do feel like that gives me a better understanding or a better clue as to which one to use even though i airbrushed wrong i still feel like this is a better way of um of figuring out the color because one i can see and one i can't see as much does that make sense give me a thumbs up and a heart if that makes sense I'm going to take this off and take that one off. So three is a color that I would, according to this one, I would use. 
I, that's that's what I would use. Um, that's what looks to me the best. Um, and so I can go from that. Or if I still, if I'm still looking at that, maybe I mix them and see. All right. So let's start by putting some drops. And we're going to airbrush the correct way and see what we we think. Now, if you're first starting out, chances are you're going to spray too hard, right? We all did it. And the reason that's, hey, Pam, how are you? And the reason I say chances are, because I know that happens. I've been doing this 25 years. I know that people pull back on that trigger too hard in the beginning. So before you get to the foundation, you're going to do all those practices as far as airbrush water on your face. Make sure you're that distance away. Make sure you're lightly pulling back on the trigger because this is airbrush makeup is very forgiving. Honest truth is I could make the three or the four work. It wouldn't matter. I can make it work, but three is going to be the best one for me. All right. So, put a little bit in my stylus, and I'm going to start, I'm going to do one side. Make some passes. Cindy said that last time she went to the dentist, it stayed on. I love that. I actually did that as well. I did it also when I moved. I moved in the heat of summer and in Houston and did a full face of makeup to move and did lives and took pictures every time and it it lasted. Okay, I'm making my passes. I'm only doing half. So how's it looking, guys? How's it looking? Nothing here, but how's it looking? I know there's a delay, so I'm giving y'all some time. Stephanie says, awesome. Looks good. So remember when I told you how airbrush makeup is forgiving and that, um, like, yeah, you can start seeing how it's starting to cover and everything. Ready? This is what I have in my system. This is the matte bronzer. That's what I put on my face. Jeannie's like, it looks a little dark. So that's what I had. That's what I was applying first. When I say airbrush makeup is now, if I kept going and only doing half for sure, you would be able to tell, but that guys is how light you are spraying. You're going to be spraying so light. Oh, Stephanie loves the rose foundation. You're going to be spraying so light that you can even tell it started to look good. You wouldn't been able to tell if I had um, on all my face. Okay, so I emptied that out. And now I am going with the three rows. <laughs> Sandra's like, no way. But that's what I'm telling you guys. That's so important to understand that that is how light you are spraying. If you see it immediately, you are spraying too hard. We have to retrain our brains into thinking luminous and not traditional makeup. Think of it as magic. We want it to like, Heather's crazy, nothing's coming out, but oh, wait, I look amazing. That's exactly what we want to do, okay? My dark circles. Yeah, I'm going to lighten those in just a minute. I want to make sure that I got all this off. So when you're first starting out, guys, I really want you, and there's a little, 
don't know if y'all can see that. There's a little mark right there too that we're going to fix. Um, when first starting out, I really want you to make sure this is dry. I really want you to get airbrushing the foundation down. Once you get that down and understand it, then whatever's in your breeze or your, your system, you know how to, to work it. So now I'm just going in and I'm making passes. And going around. I didn't do any pre coverage this time. I'm just doing the rose foundation. Just making my passes. Okay, I don't think I put enough in here. Maybe I just need a little more. So I'm going to add a couple more drops to get the coverage that I want. I added about three more drops. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, Zondra, that's really good. That's really good, Zondra. So, and that's the one thing in my, um, I do, we do, we do have small group classes. And so that's the one thing that I love to do is if you can make four to five passes with eight drops, you have it. You're good. You know, you know what's going on. If you're not there yet, just know that that's what you're going to get to. Okay. So now I'm going to go in. Now I did my whole entire face with um, the Rose Foundation Shade 3. Now I'm adding a couple of drops of glow. I'm going to put that under my eyes. And see how it lightens everything. Do a little bit as a brow highlighter there. Can even go down my nose. T um keep his bow. Okay. Very natural. All of this is with the airbrush. Just doing a few drops. I am going to go back with the matte bronzer and do a little bit of contouring. And then making my movement first. Marilyn, you should do our um, do the VIP program. We have points that you can earn. Majority of the people are 55 years and older, um, but we do have a um, VIP program, and you can earn points. Um, and, and use those points immediately. So make sure. Did a little bit of my contouring, but that was the matte bronzer that I used that I showed you with that. Mm. And so that's how light guys you are spraying. It is dry. Nothing on my hands. Nothing on my hands. Um, and so I'll make a, I just made a mess. Um, it should dry on contact. I say so much with my point. Sometimes I, wow, end of pain have as much. Awesome. Um, there's is no cost on the VIP program. No cost at all. All right. So there you go, guys. I'm going to put some. My lips full dry. Um, so I hope that helps with color matching, with airbrushing, a little bit of, we kind of did a little bit of everything today. Uh, just remember, if you are new, by Zandra, if you are new to make sure 
you are airbrushing and not putting it on like traditional makeup. Yeah, as Marilyn, check it out. If, go to uh, luminescosmetics.com and check out the VIP program. You get discounts and then um, it's the replenishment and you get discounts across the board. Plus you save, uh, you get your points too. So, and obviously wait for the sales. Yes, but I hope that helps. I hope that helps with the new people. Um, Cause that's the one thing like airbrush makeup does everything we say it's going to do but you have to make sure that you're airbrushing the right way. So you guys can do it. It's not difficult. It, it really, you really can do it. It just takes a couple of tries to understand how to do it and, and retrain our brains. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. I will see you back here tomorrow. Great talking to you and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.